afternoon, everyone. Um, sorry about the last episode being a bit jittery. Uh, I, fi I think I've fixed it. I think I figured it out and fixed it. So hopefully everything will go well today. Uh, last episode, just to recap, we won two games and drew two games. The two games we drew, I think we should have won, but we were winning 1-0 and then uh, Dundee and Ross County both scored in the last like five minutes of normal time. So just lack of concentration. But we managed to beat Motherwell 3 0 to end that episode. And we've got Livingston next, Celtic, Dundee United, and then Falkirk. Big game coming up against Celtic. Um, we didn't have a game for 10 days. So I'm just going to forward through these as quickly as possible. Oh god, Ayana's out for three or four weeks, that's not good. How did how is Castillo doing? Chelsea bought him for some bloody reason. Um and he's played well apparently he would be a superb signing, so maybe we maybe we messed that up selling him. Yeah, we sold him for Chelsea to Chelsea for one point three million. Sort of been playing quite a few games from so, but yeah, one of the few play a few times a player's actually done uh, that we got rid of that's actually done better than we thought. He looks like a really good player, very expensive though, so we won't be doing that. Uh, nothing worth telling you about by the looks of it. Uh, don't think he'd come to us, but I want to sign him at some point. Let's try and sign him now. Maybe he'll come to us, you never know. Hoyland. Oh, Rasmus Hoyland. It's the Premiership Player of the Month. Uh, Daniel Ruiz. Uh, gets gold of the week, gold of the month, sorry, for his for one of his free kicks out of the two that he scored. I think it might have been the second one because that was a hell of a free kick. Uh, on third place in manager of the month. The race is back. Coelho's out for a few days. Chucky's not happy. We'll send. We will. I think we'll look to get rid of him. To be honest. Uh, actually, no. We'll just send him out on loan for a bit. Get him some first. It didn't, it didn't, he hasn't worked out as well as I thought he would. I thought he'd go straight into the first team. Um, but he hasn't. The other players have kept him out. Tezgale's not happy. So I'd like to send him out on loan. Alba's injured. Uh, just give Beeston the praise. Criticise Lewis Vaughan. Actually, we'll let, we'll let him off. He's, he's getting on a bit. We'll let him off. Lens is not happy. Probably gonna have half the squad have a squad mutiny now. Uh, uh, I don't know about that, mate. How much is he on at the moment? Uh, well, how do I figure that out? Oh, he is on 64 at the moment. Okay. 
cap that at 70. Uh, okay, that's fine. I don't like that minimum fee release clause, but it is what it is. I do think he'd be a really good player for us. With you know, we're having to try and sign the best players we can that are currently playing in the Scottish Premiership to try and close the gap on Rangers and Celtics dominance at the moment. Livingston next. All right, let's see how we get on here. Hopefully, another win. So Ashby's is right. Ashby's right back because obviously Ayan is injured, but pretty much the same team. Moraes is back on the wing. Uh, let's see how we get on. For some reason the assistant manager rates Moraes more than Coella, even though coella has got the better potential ability. So uh, must be a reason. Right, nothing happening so far. Let's try and encourage our players a bit. Here we go. Krasnicki with the corner. Didn't work out how we wanted it to. Oh, that's nice though. That's a nice goal by Petrovic. First time shot, just blast it into the bottom corner. One nil up at the moment. That's it, good. That's it, good by race. We have ours now. Ashby. A bit hesitant to go forward here, which worries me. I feel like we're just waiting to get the ball taken off us. Uh -huh. We are keeping possession at the moment. I feel like it's going to be... Yeah, I just need... Oh, no, maybe not. Ashby. Good cross. Oh... Lucky Hoyland. We're currently top of the Scottish Premiership as things go at the moment. That's mostly because none of the other teams in the top four are playing, I think. All right, throwing to us, Diaz. Oh. Ruiz. Cross, ah, oh, Petrovic loses it. Gets it back though. Well done, Petrovic. Fair play. Playing like a man possessed. He's a lot more Roy Keane in this team. He's just, he just gets on with his job and he's a tough little player and you can have a decent shot on him as well. Ooh. Oh, sorry about that. I do apologise. Right, with this only winning 1-0 at the moment, that does worry me. The race is not playing well, Ruiz is not playing well. Uh, let's look to encourage a few of these.
Right, hopefully that'll help in some way. Press Nikki. Back to the race now. The race across to Ashby. Get in. Good goal by Brendan Barr. Right, my race is not playing well. We'll put uh, Siska in there. Let's see what the youngster can do on the wing. But we are winning 2 0, so that's that matters more than individual performances at the moment. Uh, Hoyland could do with a goal there, couldn't he? Hopefully, this will be it. Hopefully, he'll score from here. Petrovic. Oh, Petrovic nearly gets another one. Corner to us. Bar. Right, let's take all enough. We'll put Andy Yamo on. Annie Wanu. I can never get his name right. Annie Anwu. Annie Anwu. Siska. Good pass. Lucky there. Nearly setting up Ruiz. Krasnicki with the corner. Floats it up. Lose the ball. Livingston in possession now with Spittle. Runs across like a madman. Doesn't lead to anything though, luckily. Right, Ashby's a bit tired. Let's take you off. Uh, Easton can come on for you. Alright. Hopefully this is another win for us. We can see this game out. Nice bit of passing exchange. Can we get another goal before the end of the game? Do that. Nice bit of passing going on here. Keeping possession. Beaston now. Good ball. Good goal by Adi Anwu. Adi Adi Anwu. Adi Anwu. Adi Anwu. Right. If this game ends, we will be top of the league again. But only for a brief period of time because Celtic have yet to play. Siska, good ball. Unlucky there by Annie Anwu. Good, good block there by Diaz. Right, is that end of the game? There it is. Still slow, still slow, for some reason. I don't know why it's taking this long to pro. It never takes this long to process after a game. So I've got no idea, I don't know what to tell you. Right, maybe it's because it's the game's been playing for a certain amount of time, I don't know, because we are quite far into this now. Five seasons in, maybe it lags a little bit, I don't know. It shouldn't do with the laptop I've got. Anyway, we are top of the league. Annie Ann Woo's not happy. Uh, you might have a point there, but Hoyland is in form at the moment. Well, not in form, but he's got 15 goals for the season, so 
but I might start anyway when we're against Celtic. Anyway, I'll be back in a minute with the next part of the episode. Back for the next part of the episode. Let's just work our way through these inboxes. Uh, Astralido is not happy. Astralido, sorry. So we'll send you out on loan. Um, I'll just keep going through these unless something changes. We had um, Tickle, Ashby and Petrovic in the team of the week. We've signed um, Adahan uh, Babasuku. No, Babasuku. Babus, Babascu, Babascu, Babascu. Yeah, he'll be joining in January. Baba School, there you go, Baba School. Another unhappy player. Try and send you out alone, even though the loan window is not open at the moment, but at least it's showing I'm trying to do something. Big game coming up now. Biggest game of the season so far, I would say. Can I get rid of Isaac Camacho because he's not doing very well in training every week it's it's the same thing with him. Right. Oh Celtic are down to third, so somebody else is for top of the league now. So it's not as big as the game as it was it was gonna be. I assume uh hearts are top. Sorry if that is my stomach wrong with then I do apologise. Uh why is it taking so long? Oh, I forgot we had Dorigo. Is he on loan? I oh, know he's still here. He hasn't played all season. I might as well just try and get rid of him now. I assume they sold him ages ago. That's what happens when you have too many players. Oh. Got a few international, South American internationals though. Uh, Coelho, Diaz, Dorigo, and Vivas. Right then, so we've got Tickling Goal, Ashby is right back, Vivas, Diaz in centre defence, Bruce on the left, Krasnicki and Petrovic in the middle, Coelho on the right, Barr in the middle, Ruiz on the left and Hoyland up front. Let's go. We win this game, we're on the right track. We lose this game, uh, kiss goodbye to our title chances I think. I know that sounds a bit silly so early in the season but can't lose points to Celtic, they will punish you in the long run. Yeah, Hearts are top at the moment. Are they playing today? They are not. So we could go back, if we win this game on the off chance, we can go back to being top of the league, but it's a big ask. We are playing the best team in Scotland at the moment.
looking so far in the highlights. Vivaz and Tickle seem to be doing well though. We've had three shots, two on target so far, so that's not too bad. That's quite encouraging. Four shots now. We've got the same XG as them. Oh no, we've got a slightly better XG than them. There we go. We've got possession. Diaz. Tickle. Back to Diaz. 1 2. Petrovic now. Calmly gives it to Vivas. Across to Ashby. Back to Vivas. Back to Ashby. There might be a 1 2 going on there. Krasnicki, who's got, already got a yellow card after one minute. That's quite worrying. Good little passing going on here. Sorry if that was a bit jittery for everybody. Again, I have no idea why this is doing this. Right, our corner, Ruiz. Yes, get in, Vivaz. 1-0, good. We've been the better team. I'd have been annoyed if Celtic uh, got the lead in this game. We are now top. Thanks that. Oh, we've got another one. We're we going to get another goal. Oh, we are. <laughs> uh, literally the same goal. Gonna get another one. Oh my god. <laughs> we are destroying them with these set pieces. Jesus Christ. Three identical goals from corners. Come on, we want a corner. Da, 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 da. I don't know, sorry, ignore that. Um right. Absolutely destroying Celtic in this game. This is this is this is uh this is how this is performance of champions this is. Right, Petrovic, you're coming off there. Uh, Bar needs to come off. Good defending there. Oh. No. Right, let's get another corner, lads. Actually, that's a four. Play for set pieces. Where is it? Oh, we're already doing that. It's all right. Probably why we're winning. We were lucky there. Lucky, lucky, lucky. Let's hope they don't score from this corner. We don't want them getting back in the game. So, uh, 20 minutes to go. Good header out there, Diaz. Great clearance. There you go. Right, let's see how we get on. Let's see this game out. Ooh, Celtic, they are not doing well. We are top of the league. We are top of the league. No booking. Free kick to Celtic. This will be a consolation goal, I hope. I'll be really annoyed if this game ends 3-3 now. Whew, thank God for that. Right. Oh, great performance there, lads. Biggest win of the season so far, that one. Really, really good. Fair play. Right, 
Uh, taking a while as always now. This seems to be the normal normal now in this game. In this save. There we go. Alright. Great performance there, lads. Really happy with that. Yeah, Siska's not happy. And a lot of players. Got, we've got too big of a squad, I think. That's our problem. Too many unhappy players here. I'll rotate next game, give some of the people a game. Yeah, great performance. Right then, I'll be back in a minute with the next part of the episode. We're back for the next part of the episode. Um, we had a few offers for Camacho, for some reason it got cancelled. Is there any other offers? Oh, that's annoying. Is he injured though? It's probably because he's injured. Right. Uh, that one. Oh, we had an offer for the Rigo that we rejected for some reason. Vaughan's taking his first step to his coaching license. Let's see if he wants to become a coach. Oh, he wants to be head of youth development. Okay. Maybe he could become a good head of youth recruitment. He is driven. Um, he has been at the club for many, many years. Well, literally all of his career other than a lone spell at Dunbar and then a brief spell at Kilmarnock where he only played three games but yeah right, let's just give Petrovic a bit of praise Camacho as always Doing terribly in training. Can't wait to get rid of him, to be honest. Oh, we've got a new Scotland international. Paul Beaston. Has Gary Rui made his debut for Scotland yet? Because I think that's disgraceful if he hasn't. No, he hasn't. Ridiculous. Uh, not played that many games yet. He's only played one... Three league games, no, two league games, sorry. Hmm. Let's have a look at Juventus for a second. Let's go players. Oh, uh, he has got jury and timber in the way, unfortunately. And then, so, let's have a look at it like this. On the left side, he's got Cambiasso as well, but yeah. If jury and timber wasn't there, he'd probably be playing more. Uh, we've had some offers for uh, Lipicic. We'll just sell him because he's not happy. Um, actually, no, it won't because they're terrible offers. Right, we've got Celtic in the Scottish Cup. Hopefully we can, re hopefully we can repeat what we did in the last game against them. Valencia's injured for a few weeks. Astro Dillo, every other bloody inbox I went to buy him, he's doing me head in. Oh, yeah. Chris Bannon. Sorry, Charlie Bannon. So our, uh, our youth player, Charlie Bannon, who's currently... Oh, he's in our reserves. Uh, I think we should... Call him up to the first team after that then. It's off a new contract as well. Alright, Charlie Bannon who plays predominantly as a left back, which is what we could do with actually to be honest, because uh 
The left back we saw is not very good. Astridillo, this is why you're not playing. Siska wasn't happy, but we've managed to convince him. Right, I think we need to rotate players in this game. Ah, oh, we're back down to second now. That's a shame. It's taken a while to process. There we are, we're back. Let's just get rid of these. Let's have a look at the detail level. Maybe that's why it's so slow. No. Let me know in the comments section if you, if you can figure out what it is that's suddenly made my laptop slow. Alright, Dundee United next. They're our bogey team. But we just signed their best player who comes in in January. Uh, hopefully it will weaken them by strengthening us. That's how Bayern Munich do it in Germany. We'll have to start doing that here in Scotland with Greg Rovers. If it lets me do it sometime today, come on. Right, Ayano's back, so hopefully he can start. Yeah, Ayano, uh, Vivas, Naraki, Bruce, Tickle and Goal, Petrovic and Krasniki in midfield, Mello on the right, Bar in the middle, Ruse on the left, and Hoyland up front. Oh, I forgot to rotate. Ugh. I knew I'd do that. Oh well, nothing I can do about it now. This is so slow today. Maybe I need to restart my computer or something. Just bear with it for this episode and hopefully next episode it won't be so bad. Right, Mella. Good cross. Oh, that's a good goal. Daniel Ruiz with his sixth goal of the season. Good assist there by Ayane. Ayane is such a good right back for us. He's 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 um he was a good deputy for um, Gary Rue and now he's just stepped in, in, in when Gary Rue left he's just stepped up and uh, doing so well he definitely deserves a new contract Right, one nil up. They've got a corner there. Headed out by one of our players. They've got another corner. Oh, that was lucky. Corner again to Dundee. One after the other. Good save there by Chickle. We are uh, Celtic, we've definitely dented Celtic's chances of winning the title now. They've only got one game ahead of us. And, um, I don't know, let's wait for this highlight to finish first. Ruiz, ooh, lucky. Corner to us. Ruiz now with the corner. 
he was deadly against Celtic. Let's see if we can do it again. No, headed out by that player. Yeah, but like I said, um, hold on. I think he's injured, but Rios in. Yeah, let's just pause it. So we are currently top, and so is Hearts. So Hearts is the competition at the moment. Uh, Celtic have got a game more than us, but even if they win that game, we're still three points ahead of them. So the ball is in our court. We've got to worry about Hearts. Rangers completely dropped off the, the rail because they've got two games ahead of us. But they get them if they get their maximum points from them two games, 28 points, we're still nine points ahead of them. So Hearts is the main competition at the moment for the league. And potentially if we get second place, that's progress as far as I'm concerned. And that's what we want. So yeah, so we're doing well. We've got, we've got to just be consistent now. It's still very early in the season. I didn't ditch you jinx myself then, didn't I? I was talking about that and I, I was worried then that Dundee were going to score. Right, let's end this first half, please. Good, well done, lads. Uh, Vivaz is not playing very Ah, Yano's knackered. Harrison Ashby comes on. I don't want to change too much unless we've got injuries. We're winning 1 0, we don't really need to do too much. Mellor's coming off now. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at the latest scores. Who's playing? Is it only us? Uh, Celtic aren't playing the Nora Hearts. So we'll have to wait uh, for them to play to figure out what's going on there. Vivas. Oh, we can't take more players off. All right, we've got to throw in. Let's get another goal, please. Ooh. Right. coming up towards the end of the game here. Let's get another goal though. We get another goal, we kill this game off. Happy days. Oh, that's not gonna help. Good tackle there. Hit by Rios. Barnell drives it forward. Medina. Oh, don't know what happened there, Hoyland. Right, throw in. Uh oh. Damn it. Come on, BR, come to our rescue, please. <sighs> yeah, oh well. All that for nothing. We're still four point in here. I'm just, just, I'm not happy right now. That was our chance. That was our chance. Oh, there you go. Are they going to get a winner here? What are you doing? Pass it all the way back over there. Oh, for God's sake. We're going to lose this game now. Oof. All that hard work beating Celtic has gone down the toilet right now. Oh, that's so disappointing. <sighs> we'd have won that. We'd have been, we'd have been title contenders again. We'd have been good chance of winning the title. <sighs> I hate FM sometimes, but it's not the end of the world. We're still one point. If if Celtic win that game, we're still one point clear of them. We're only two points behind Hearts. Hearts will be easier to topple than Celtic, I think. Even though Hearts are uh, top of the league at the moment. Uh, we'll see. Uh, Krasniski's out for three weeks. That's not good. 
last thing we need right now. Right. Um, let me just check see how many games we've played. Oh, we've got one more. Right, and I'll be back in a minute with the next part of the episode. Right, and we're back for the final part of the episode. Uh, let's just go through the inbox items. Right, we've had an offer for Dorigo. We'll accept that. We'll just get him out, out the door. Uh, a few offers for Camacho, similar to Dorigo. We, we just don't need him here no more. David Mello, what's he not happy about? Uh, probably have to sell David Mello at some point, which is a shame. What's he out happy about? Oh, for God's sake. Right. Let's get rid of you. Right, let's get rid of him. Hoyland's injured for two or three weeks. That means Aniyamu. Uh, Aniyamu. Aniyamu. There you go. He'll get a few games, I think, for Siska. So that will help keep them happy. Uh, let's look to sign him because we did well with Petrovic. So, and he is a server international, Serbia international. 2.3 million is an absolute steal for a player as good as him. So that's what we'll do from now on. We'll have, we'll have Eastern European midfielders, centre midfielders, and we'll have South American wingers and Scandinavian strikers. <laughs> and we'll have South American centre defenders, uh, African right backs and Scottish left backs. So there you go. And English goalkeepers. That's what we'll do from now on. We'll just try and keep that as possible so we keep the same thing. My dog's woken up now, so he keeps trying to touch the keyboard, which is slowing me down greatly, so just bear with us. Ah, half eight won't come to me. Ah, that was back to the yawning. Mm -hmm. He's waking up. He's going for a walkie in a minute, and yeah, yes you are. Put you down. Right, let me just check. Ooh, yeah, you can hear me. It's alright. I thought you took. I thought you knocked my mic off then. Right. So yeah, Annie Anwu. He is. Uh, Starting this game up front, we've got Medina on the left, Corella in the middle, and Maurice on the right. Rios and Johnson in midfield. Uh, Bannon, so this is a rotated team by the looks of it. I think the manager thinks we're going to win this one, so it's probably rotated players. Right, come on, let's go. Hurry up, there we go. Nice to see Charlie Bannon playing, especially after he just got capped for the Scotland pool team. So if Bruce somehow goes, at least we've got a ready-made Scottish left-back replacement in Bannon. Let's hope we win this game. There we go. Oh. 
One nil. Ayane, good start to the game. How many goals he's got this season? I think he's got quite a few for us this season. Oh no, he hasn't. I stand corrected. He's got nine assists though. Has he scored many goals for us in his career? Two. Oh, okay, fair enough. I felt like he scored more than that for us. You never know, if Gary Rui starts not playing very often for the Juventus, we might be able to get him in on loan or potentially might be able to sign him down the road. If he if his career just really goes downhill at Juventus, they might look to just get rid of him. Um, so you never know. I'm only going to sign him if I can sign him for less than what we sold him for. If they want like 40, 50 million for him, I ain't signing him. I don't need to really. I thought Oyanu was just absolutely amazing. Right, good save there by Tickle. Now, can we break from this? Tickle, very patient. Very, very patient. There we go, boots it out. Coella. Oh, nice bit of skill there. Cleared by them. They're now in possession. Oh, doesn't lead to anything. Medina loses the ball. Ah, oh, great. One of our players got sent off. Diaz. So what I'm going to have to do is put Coelho here and then swap him for Beeston. Uh, right, we've just got to hope for the best now. Here that we can hold on for the win. Probably won't though, no now look. But uh, if we do, we'll be back to top of the league. We'll be five points clear of Celtic, neck and neck with Hearts. But this is where Falkirk equalise. Bang, head it in. Just knew it. Just knew it. I can predict FM and like a notch to Domus. <sighs> FM just doesn't, FM just being, doing FM stuff. Two one. I'm hoping that gets disallowed. I really don't want to lose this game. A draw, at least it will keep us relatively close. A loss is just going to be a disaster. And it is a loss as well. Typical. Ugh, that is a absolute P in the art. P take. P I double S take. <sighs> All that hard work being Celtic is pointless at this point. We have got hearts next though, so that might be good if we win. Do we need to do a team meeting? Let's have a look. No, it's not drastic just yet. Right then, that's the end of this episode. I'll be back um, tomorrow with the big game versus Hearts. So yeah, thanks for as always. Um, feel free to subscribe if you're enjoying the content. Leave me a comment in the, sec in the comment section. And enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.